Mila Pasharo, Aisa, Aisa. Ken Mila Pasharo, Aslani, Or. Ken Mila Pasharo, Aslani, Or. Ken Mila, Mila Pasharo, Aisa, Aisa. I'm an arrogant big obvious and spirit name Amen. Even though most of the work is now behind us, today literary liturgy says overflows with the joys of Jesus' resurrection. We continue to celebrate the great event for the next six uh, weeks, of course, and uh, until Pentecost or with Sunday, which is on the 9th of June. It's the 50th and final day of Easter. The Lord be with you all and with your spirit. We're doing Mass now for the second Sunday of Easter, this recording. So, in the light of the resurrection of Jesus, let us renew our trust in the divine mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life, Lord of mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with the body and blood, Lord of mercy. And may Almighty God of mercy forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And now we're going to have you praise to God. Take your time and relax. <coughs> Are you ready? Glory be to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world of mercy us, you take away the sins of the world, receive a prayer. You are seated right hand of the Father, mercy us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and glory of God the Father. Amen. So now we're going to have the opening prayer. The second Sunday of Easter, which is 28th of April 2019 and see you Lord, let us pray as Christians interested in the risen life. Heavenly Father and God of mercy, we no longer look for Jesus among the dead, for he is alive and has become the Lord of life. From the waters of death, he raised us with him and renew your gift of life within us. Increase in our minds, our hearts. The risen life we share with Christ and help us to grow as your people towards the fullness of eternal life with you. We ask this for Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now we can all be seated. For the readings. Get comfortable and then you can listen and take on board. Now, the first reading is uh, from the Acts of the Apostles. The faithful all used to meet by common consent at the portico of Solomon. No one else ever dared to join them, but the people were loud in their praise and the numbers 
of men and women who came to believe in the Lord increased rapidly. Sadly. So many signs and wonders were worked among the people at the hands of the apostles that the sick were even taken out into the streets and laid on beds and sleeping mats in the hope that at least the shadow of Peter might fall across some of them as he went past. People labour evil came crowding uh, in from the towns around even Jerusalem bringing with them their sick and those tormented by unseen spirits and all of them were cured the word of the Lord thanks be to God the response of the psalm today is give thanks to the Lord for his good for his love is no end let the sons of Israel say his love is no end. Let the sons of Aaron say his love is no end. Let those who fear the Lord say his love is no end. Give thanks to the Lord for his good, for his love is no end. The stone which the builders rejected have become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel and a rise. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Give thanks to the Lord for his good, for his love has no end. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Bring in the name of the Lord. It's he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Give thanks to the Lord, God, for his good, for his love has no end. Now we're going to have the second reading from the book of Apocalypse. We hear where I was dead spiritually and now I am to live forever and evermore. My name is John and through our union in Jesus I am your brother and share your suffering. Your kingdom and all you endure I was on the island of Patabinus for having preached at the island of Patmos, sorry, for having preached God's word and witness for Jesus. It was the Lord's day and the Spirit possessed me and I heard a voice behind me shouting like a trumpet, write down all you see in a book. I turned round to see what he was spoken to me, and then I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands, and surrounded by them, a figure like a son of man, dressed in a long robe, tied at the waist with a golden girdle. When I saw this, I fell in a dead faint at his feet. But he touched me with his right hand and said, Do not be afraid. It is I, the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead and now I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death of the underworld. Now write down all that you see, our present happenings and things that are to come. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Please stand now for the gospel acclamation and the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus said you believe because you have seen me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to thee, O Lord. In the evening of the same day, the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you, and showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you. 
As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. After saying this, they breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit, for those who sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those who sins are retained, they are retained. Thomas, called a twin, was one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. When the disciples said, We have seen that already answered, Unless I see the holes and nails in his hands, I can put my fingers into the holes they made. Uh, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas said to them, The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas, put your fingers in here. Look, here are my hands. Give me your hand. Put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, my Lord and my God, Jesus said to him, you believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. There were many other signs of Jesus' work and the disciples saw, but they were not recorded in this book. These are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and believing this, you may have life through his name, the Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now you can sit down again if you're not already sitting down and we're going to say a few words. It's the second Sunday of the Easter period and we have to keep at it until the 9th of June. Yes, this year when we have Pentecost of which Sunday. So now, there's quite a lot of points that we just can't cover them all. I'll just say briefly a few words. Well, they were in this uh, portico of Solomon, and uh, they were kind of the guys that it because they look on you funny. I remember when I become a, a bishop here in the area, it, it, it looked. Similar, I'd be afraid of you. Wouldn't think you were sincere or what, I don't know. But a similar thing happened. They were all Jewish people and they seen this kind of a revolution and they weren't happy with it. So no one would, would join them. But eventually the preaching was good and it, it took hold and they started accumulating people every week. Give thanks to the Lord for his good, for his there was no end. But then in the second reading, we hear where uh, in the book of Apocalypse, that John, he was dead in faith, and then he was alive to live forever and ever. So he took a count of things and wrote them down, and so went on, then of course we go to the Gospel, when we hear, you believe because you can see me. Half of those have not seen it yet believe be heard. That was Thomas of course. Many people today don't believe because they have to see. Uh, of course there's an awful lot more to believe. So the Gospel of John again, eight days later Jesus came, evening time on the, that day, it was the first day of the week, doors were closed, the disciples were, and uh, they were afraid of the Jews, they kept the doors shut, like they never wanted to try to disrupt them, and uh, Jesus stood among them, and he said to them, Peace be with you. 
and showed his hands in his side, and the disciples were filled with joy. He saw the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you. And he says to them, As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. He was sending the apostles out to uh, promote the faith. So this is when he gave them power, the, the, the apostles. When he breathed it under them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those sins you forgive, they are forgiven. And for those sins you retain, they are retained. Now that tells us that they are given the power to forgive sins and retain them. And that is one reason why we go to priests in a confession. Because he is a representative of Jesus Christ, an official representative. You come from apostolic lineage. Well, Thomas, of course, that's when one of the twelve not with them when Jesus came and uh, he wanted to see the holes and all that business. So eventually Jesus asked him to put his uh, hands and check out, uh, more or less, his hand aside, etc. <coughs> so after doing all this, he said, uh, When he put his hands in his side and through the holes in his hand and all that, etc. He said he believed because he'd seen. So I was very happy for those people that believes without seeing and taking years to believe. And of course, uh, there was a lot of signs that Jesus walked, the same saw. And they couldn't be recorded in, in, in uh, this book. There'd be no other things that have happened. And they recorded that you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And believing that you have laid through his name. And that's uh, yourself explaining the gospel when you read it. A faith in Christ, Thomas the Doubter, when he's seen, he believed. And you amazing the many people don't believe the yarns you hear, but then there's a lot of people that believe everything they hear. So you have to be able to decipher what is, is, is good. If you hear a yarn about someone that's bad, it'll be all around the country. If you hear something good, it might be around. So uh, the lesson we learn there is to follow Christ, follow the readings, know what you're talking about, and promote is work. And then trust the valid uh, priests and valid bishops that have come from apostolic succession. That means uh, the, the apostles uh, would ordain certain priests, or, or I wouldn't call them that time as they was now, but uh, give them uh, the bishops apostolic succession, they lay their hands on another uh, priest, and uh, so on. So there's a right there, I see, in, in the Mass, if there's another priest saying Mass uh, for you and uh, he's doing the readings, you'll go over and you'll, he'll ask you to give him authority, and you will give him authority to read. Well, maybe it's not necessary in all Masses, but it is done. So with that, very simple, Thomas comes out. He didn't believe, he had to see it. So it's very annoying if you if they do that everybody. Uh, you see, uh, you know, uh, he was a good example. They took him out and he believed. This is up to you. We now move on and uh, we're going to recite the, the Nicene Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, to God from the God begotten, not made consubstantial with the Father, from all things is made, for smell and reason, night from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated, the Virgin Mary and became man. For the sake of scripture, but under Pontius Pilate, that was a Roman governor, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended to heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in order to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, but the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess from baptism the forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now we're going to do the Eucharistic prayer number three. And if you any of some sheets, you'll see it on them. So Eucharistic prayer number three. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we received the bread we offer you, proved the earth, work with human hands, and come for us the bread of life, bless be God forever. in our humanity. Blessing you, Lord God, for our creation, which we are to receive. The wine we offer you, through the vine, working in your hands, become a spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Become a spirit and in heart, except for you, Lord, and me, and the Thanks this day, be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. And may the Lord listen to our prayers, sisters and brothers, and my sacrifice and yours. And be accepted for God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for good and for the good of all his holy church. Prayer over the gifts. Lord, through faith and baptism, we have become a new creation, accept our offerings of your people and of those born again in baptism. And bring us to eternal happiness. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of and raised with you and you, the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with us. Lift up your hearts, you lift them up to the Lord, and give thanks to the Lord of God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and every living God, we do our Lord and every give thanks to Jesus Christ the Lord. We praise him with greater joy than ever on this Easter time, Sunday, second Sunday of Easter, when Christ became a Paschal sacrifice. He said, through that, he took away the sin of the world by dying, he despite our death, and by rising, he restored our life. And so with all the choirs raised in heaven, we came in glory and joined an ending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, is full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed he comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you created rightly gives you praise. But through your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the work and of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather the people to yourself from the rising of the sun to its setting if your rock of sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, on this second Sunday of Easter Mass, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, grace you make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that may come for the body and blood of your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and given thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new eternal covenant report out to you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, will be a cross and resurrection. You have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as you celebrate the memorial of the passion of your Son, by his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as you look forward to a second coming, we offer you with thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the blessing of your church, and recognizing the sacrifice of the victim by whose death he wills to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become one, one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain the inheritance which you are elect, especially with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints. And of course today, uh, today it's uh, a special feast. The Divine Mercy Chaplain Sunday. We will do a recording of one day when someone explains to you more what it's about. So, all these saints and those in constant intercession in your presence who life for failing health or help, make the sacrifice of reconciliation, uh, reconciliation, we pray. O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the whole of the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Pope Francis, Michael, a patriarch for me, a bishop, and all the bishops in charity that the entire people have gained for you, your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you in your compassion. O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to the father, brothers and sisters, all are pleasing to you at the time of the passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom and all those who enjoy the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, for whom you sown the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now let us Recite the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day daily bread, and we give us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and he is not the temptation of the universe from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Grace you grant peace and days with the help of your mercy. We all receive from sin and save all the stress. We the blessed hope in the coming of the Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace to leave you and peace to give you, look not in the sins and the faith of the church and grace, he grant of peace and unity in accordance with your will, it lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Now let us offer each other a sign of peace, which I do to anyone here, uh, verbally, and to the people on the internet, I also offer a sign of peace any religion, any race, any creed, no one excluded. Friends, enemies, peace be with you all and with your spirit. May the meaning of the body and blood be eternal life, so receive it. Lamb of God, you take with sins of the word of mercy. Lamb of God, you take with sins of the word of mercy. Lamb of God, you take with sins of the word. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold and protect you the sins of the word, happy those called to suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under a roof, but only see the word of my soul should be healed. May the body of Christ and blood of Christ keep us safe in eternal life.
occurred to me in prayer, known as the Anthem. Jesus spoke to Thomas, Put your hands here and see the place of the nails. Doubt no longer. Believe. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Christ. Body of Christ. Tell me. Amen. Body of Christ. Sovereign, most holy, most sovereign, divine, our present is given, be every moment thine. O sovereign, most holy, O sovereign, divine, our present is given, be every moment thine. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament, divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let's pass the Spirit of the Lord in the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, may the Easter sacraments we have received live forever in our minds and hearts. Yes, that's for Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living Lord, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, one God, forever. Amen. The Lord be with you all, and may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Go forth and peace to them and serve the Lord. Mass is ended. There we are. Sweet heart of Jesus Bond of love and mercy, today we call thy blessing to implore. Oh, touch your hearts, so cold and so ungraceful, and make them, Lord, thine own forevermore. <coughs> Sweet heart of Jesus, Jesus, we implore, oh, make us love thee more, more and more. Oh, make us love thee more and more.